Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I was watching an interview at Citizen TV where it was being led by Sam Gituku and his counterpart on the side of Kiswahili version. Now, the guests that were welcomed at that interview among, among us was Moses Kuria, the Cabinet Minister of Investment and Trade and Industry. I think when you look at the basis of the, that interview, where they were having a kind of muaka um, moja wa rais ruto, when you look at the way the argument of Moses Kuria was, it was so pathetic. This Cabinet Minister is not even deserving to be a cabinet minister. And I'm not, um, and I'm saying without any fear of contradiction here. Because if you are a cabinet minister, you're lying live, live on TV. You're coming out to tell Kenyans that the price of hunger is below 170. The price of oil, cooking oil, is below 230. Then immediately, Moses Kuria never knew that the Citizen TV had their team on the ground. And something that shocked me, they never came out showing Nyanza because they could have come out to say, this is an zone. They could have come out to organize the prices of cooking oil. But something that was surprising, they went ahead in Eldoret where they tried to, access, uh, to do their analysis there. And upon Moses Kure, he never came out believing his two eyes. And because I don't want to display the video, we might have uh, issues of copyrights. But I want, to I want you to listen to, um, I want you to, listen to, the, to the voices, and the, the way argument, uh, the, the argument was. So this is uh, how the argument was. And immediately, um, Moses Kuria was exposed live, live on TV, Citizen TV. Kuria, you know, as far as the cost of living is concerned, because this was one of the biggest promises that was made by the campaign of William Ruto before he became president. If, in fact, the promise was that that would be one of the issues to be uh, focused on. There has been a, a bit of change, but not necessarily where people would want to see it, especially if you talk about the cost of fuel and cost of food and other commodities. What would be your response in terms of the action and what should Kenyans wait to see happening in the coming uh, months? I like this question, uh, uh, Sam, but I wish your figures are factual. As you know, you, you pride yourself that your TV is the most watched in the country. So don't forget there's somebody who is watching you from a supermarket. So be careful. What, what is the figure that I have a question no, about? Let, let's take uh, cooking oil, for example. Right. It's much lower than what you project there, and Kenyans know that. Yes, you've said correctly that you know the price has come down, but it's not even to the level you have said. It is by 50% since we, we came to government. So our figure uh, is an estimate of 340. No, it's much a lower. Than, what is it? It's, it's, it's much lower than that. It's in the region of 230, 240 shillings. 230 yeah. shillings a liter of oil. Yeah, a liter of edible oil. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are some Kenyans who are watching you from, from a supermarket. So, you know, everyone can be entitled to their own opinion, but not everyone can be entitled to their own facts. Facts are universal. I want us to also look at the issue of sugar. I would ask you, maybe before this program is over, make some few calls. I suggest you call some supermarkets here in Nairobi, up country. In the shops. So at the and moment, we're, right. we're giving a range so, of between 420 shillings to 500 shillings plus for a two kilogram pack of two kilogram pack. What is the price according to you? Well, I'm just saying, let us reconfirm that. I know for sure that edible oil is much, much lower than that. But anyway, I digress. I'm just asking you because I've seen you inciting Kenya. No, no, no. no. I've seen you inciting okay. Kenya okay. the panel. If indeed you question the figure, you know, I've seen you. Know, the, uh, let, me, let me just put it this way. It is good for you to give us the, the problem with you, and that is why you are asking me a roast. That's why you are asking me a roast. That you is what you're talking about. When you look at the argument of Moses Kuri, he said that edible oil 
is going at 230 240 in between there but moses kuria was shocked moses kuria was shocked because he never believed that this was something that was coming yeye yeah, anasema salad ya kupika mafuta ya kupika hii salad ni 230 240 but now i'm trying to look at um, when the report came from eldred moses kuria never believed in his eyes and even his ears and this is uh, this was I, i think the how Moses Kuria was exposed. Alisema salad ni 23240. But according to reports kutoka Naivas Saiyo live kutoka Eldoret. This is what the reporter said. If you want to know Moses Kuria is alive. These figures from Royo others. Let's go to Eldoret to listen to John Wanyama to give us the real figures live from Eldoret in the supermarket. Wanyama. Thank you thank you very much we are at Naiva supermarket uh, Sam and clearly as we have seen here the prices of different uh, types of cooking oil here like this one ufuta we are said they are selling at Naiva at 347 if you come here this is salt oil cooking oil this is going, going at uh, 325 shillings and here golden fry is going at 355 shillings just to sample it quickly there's here we have here top fry which is going at 307 clearly an indicator that really the cooking oil has gone up in their prices since the maybe the few years or few months ago the, those who are whom we have talked to they are saying it has gone up to maybe three times of what they used to buy that is what we have found here at Naiva supermarket sam now that is whatever the reports came immediately Moses Kuria was trying to lie to Kenyans mafuta yenye ni bei rahisi ni 307 yeye anasema mafuta ni 230 240 now in fact that was not even enough for Moses Kuria he came out saying oh muende mkonfirm ruiru kwani muende mkonfirm ruiru Eldoret is their base. Awange danganya, that's the reality. So Moses Kuria was so embarrassed including even Nahumisha was trying to come out to defend Moses Kuria but the reality is Moses Kuria was lying na alikuwa na uongo tupu. Ati maisha yamerudi chini wapi? Na kama ilikuwa ukweli aliconfirmiwa hapo hapo. Citizen wakati wa later interview walikuwa na watu yao ground wakaenda wakaonyesha ukweli live kwamba mafuta yenye bei rahisi ni 307 na hii 307 Moses Kuria naye anasema mafuta iko bei chini 232 240 the other day Moses Kuria came out posting pictures of Quickmart they were having pro- promos Moses Kuria akakuja akasema ati in bei za vitu zinashuka hiyo ilikuwa promotion but the price of vi- of goods ijerudi chini vile anasema so this was a kind of ex- Moses Kuria accepted to be exposed and embarrassed because of his words because he even reached an extent of even embarrassing uh, trying to embarrass uh, some gituku that is in azimio or rather oh yeye ni mtu wa azimio walikuja wakadanganya sijui oh azimio you know that interview was not about azimio the interview was about how is their progress In fact, you find that one liter kuna mpaka ya 350. You know, 345. Moses Kuria na Dangani. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What do you think about the leadership you are having? As are they saying the truth? Or rather, are they trying to continue to tell lies every day, every day, every day? You can drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.